Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Unfortunately yesterday I didn't manage to upload, almost didn't upload today as well, but I'm currently recording between online classes, so it's okay. I'm gonna upload it uh, around 2 p.m. as always. So last episode we invaded Uruguay, as you can see that went pretty well and it was successful. I sent my uh, militias over to Montevideo to guard the city, I'm gonna keep them there. Now I already have a decent amount of forces here, and I already have all the units I need to invade Paraguay and then go, go through Argentina. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I have continued production to some extent, but uh, it's been pretty minimum. I haven't been very active here in general, so we're gonna try to start building up our country again. Building industry here, and uh, militarizing more as well, to prepare for a lot more production. So we're gonna level everything up to level 2, as we're definitely going to need it. And I would, but I can't currently build another tank plant. I'm gonna do that tomorrow, so this is current production, or construction shall I say, it's looking pretty good. Now uh, we're also gonna keep on producing some units, that's a bunch of motorized, gonna make some SP artillery too, this is already taking almost 2 days because it's level 2, so it needs a ordinance upgrade right away basically. And we're gonna build some medium tanks here too, only 20 hours, not that bad, not yet. On research I'm gonna get level 3 motorized. I'm also gonna get level 3 SP artillery and that's all we need. We don't need better mediums yet, we have another day for that. And this is the production, we are thankfully militarizing and uh, building up these production centers because we're gonna need them. If we don't do that our production will just go down extremely quickly. But yeah our economy is looking great so that shouldn't be a problem. Now today we're gonna invade Argentina as well as Paraguay, we have the units ready for uh, both. Unfortunately some of these are pretty low level still but uh, yeah, can't upgrade them now unfortunately, doesn't matter. Let's go through Paraguay, we're gonna declare war and we're just gonna go through. First we're gonna set up plans to take Paraguay, just like that. Now we're gonna declare war on Argentina. Now let's see if anyone is active here in uh, South America, Peru is inactive. Uh, Venezuela too, so there isn't anybody active, but in Europe it's looking pretty insane as well as the rest of the world. That's how I like it, seems like Norway is actually going to annex Sweden, surprisingly enough. Now that we are at war with Argentina, I'm gonna try to rush through here and take Buenos Aires, as well as uh, Bahia Blanca and all of these other important cities here on this side of Argentina. It's really just these two that are important here, so that's all I'm really gonna take with that. With this however I'm gonna go a little further taking some more provinces, doing something like this, I'm gonna do something similar with these 4 units too. I'm not gonna take the cities with this, I guess I could, so let's, let's just do it. And let's go all the way to there. Now with the units going through Paraguay, I'm also gonna rush through here and try to take their other cities. There we go, that sounds like a solid plan. So it's gonna be something like this, trying to capture these three cities. That's gonna be the most important. With this I am also going to go to their capital too, from here and then I'm gonna go here, capturing this city. And turn to Buenos Aires and Bahia Blanca as well, because why not. And there we go, that should be both Paraguay and Argentina secured by tomorrow, I guess we'll still see. But I think it should work, it's a good plan. Slightly low level units, but they should be strong enough to take both out by tomorrow. Other than that, I'm gonna check out the world, Canada is active and taking out the US, uh, while the US isn't active, so it looks like they're doing pretty well capturing Philadelphia, Washington, New York and Boston already on the east coast as well as uh, Minneapolis and Denver as well as Seattle here. So it looks like they're doing pretty damn well. France on the other hand is taking Belgium, Luxembourg, Switzerland and Spain and Portugal. Also taking the Belgian Congo and the Portuguese colonies as you can see. Turkey is attacking the Soviet Union but is inactive. Italy taking out Yugoslavia and is doing nothing else for now. Germany is still active, taking out the Netherlands and now chilling, while uh, the UK is getting shit on by Ireland, them taking back Northern Ireland as well as 
invading the mainland UK with the help of Germany. Yeah, UK is hacked too, by the way. Not sure how that happened. While Norway has actually won in Sweden, this could still turn around, but I don't think it will. They have three cities left. Their capital has fallen, Stockholm. And I think uh, unless Sweden can outproduce, they have lost. They are inactive, so they probably won't outproduce. Link of Pink seems destroyed, same with Gothenburg. Yeah, that's uh, unlikely for Sweden to win, that's gonna be pretty <laughs> pretty insane. Uh, Poland has won against the USSR, the USSR is inactive, not too big a deal. Them taking Minsk, Kiev, Kharkov, Oryo, Stalino, as well as Moscow and Ivanovo, Vologda too. And uh, seems like they did that pretty quick. Not sure though I wasn't back to. So seems like they're gonna win the war since uh, the capital of the Soviet Union has fallen. As well as Japan attacking from the east taking Vladivostok as well as Irkutsk already. They're doing pretty well on that front. While nationalist China has taken Mongolia as well as all of Indochina taking Burma, French Indochina, Thailand and British Malaya. That's pretty insane. Yeah, uh, China gonna be pretty strong here. Same with Japan. But China's gonna be stronger, let's be honest. Australia also seems active taking Indonesia from the Netherlands. Other than that, that's just about it. So I'm gonna end the video right here, I hope you guys enjoyed, it's a pretty damn interesting world if you ask me, I mean France owning most of Africa by, what is it, day 3, 4? Oh, it's actually 5, Jesus. So we are looking pretty damn good. Good game, very very weird, but uh, you know weird things are good sometimes. Once a while Call of War starts getting boring and you know, well once a while I say when you've been playing it for 2 years then definitely gets boring quite often. Anyway we have supply drop here, not gonna be able to capture it unfortunately, but doesn't matter. Our economy is also doing very good, we have 2700 money being spent on units every single day and we make 6000 money an hour. So that's pretty good. And yeah, I guess I will end it right here. I thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, you can like and subscribe and uh, whatever. You can comment. And I'll see you guys tomorrow as always. See you then.